Hello and welcome to another edition of Lost Louisiana, What's in a Name, Part 3. I'm your host, Charlie Whittem. Over the years, LPB travels the countryside to find some of the most unusual named towns and communities in Louisiana. And we ask one simple question, how did that place get its name? And it's surprising to see how that one basic inquiry becomes the cornerstone to some wonderful storytelling. And this time around, our storytelling will include the town I'm in right now, Brobridge, which, as the story goes, was the first city in Louisiana founded by a French woman. Plus, we'll head to the towns of Mowata, Turkey Creek, and Avery Island. But we begin with a town named Start, Louisiana. To our knowledge, this is the only town in the country by that name. However, in the world of country music, it is the home to one of the biggest names in show business, Tim McGraw. But this town east of Monroe is more than just a hometown to a country music megastar. It is also home to probably the most unique volunteer fire departments in the country. At first glance, you would think Start, Louisiana is the furthest thing from the bright lights of the big city. What do we do in Start? We what do you do in Start? There's not much to do. I mean, for fun, we go sit at the lake and watch the turtles eat. <laughs> but think again. Start Louisiana is the home to country music superstar Tim McGraw. This welcome sign looms large, but it is not the only sign in town that just might make you stop. Just ask the town's fire chief, Johnny Letlow. I've been the fire chief about six years now. Okay. I've been on the department about 18 years. Anybody making fun of the name of your fire department? Sometimes they do. Uh, after they think about it a while, they do. But uh, <laughs> uh, this is on the interstate, and when people stop, they'll look over here and see the fire department, and uh, <laughs> there's pictures all over the there's pictures on the internet with the uh, station on it. Johnny oversees the Start Fire Department, and he does not mind the irony. In fact, he enjoys it. Some of their biggest hits are the volunteer fire department's hats and t-shirts. If you wear one of the caps on a golf course, uh, somebody always asks you about it. Or uh, Our young boys always wear the shirts. Uh, they wear them to church. And I think uh, they uh, usually not give them to girls. And thanks to the Start Fire Department, the town's fire protection has dramatically improved. Before we had one, we had to depend on other towns to uh, put out our fires and uh, with our own fire department we're able to actually save quite a few houses and additionally our, our insurance rates are about half of what they used to be mm -hmm. and we enjoy doing it. The origins of Start Louisiana began in the late 1800s with a man named J.M. Morgan also known as Grandpa Morgan. Back then the community was known as Charleston but that name was rejected by the U.S. Post Office because there were already too many towns with that name. The story goes that his daughter Rachel, who was actually postmaster at the time, suggested that let's call it Start because we're making a new start. And they sent that one in and it, it took. And we're glad of that. We like that name. Start Louisiana is not very big, just about 2,000 people or so. But this area, especially right here at the C.W. Earl Cotton Gin, exploded to 20,000 people because of a concert of a lifetime. Favorite son, Tim McGraw, came back to his hometown with a huge bang. Hello, America. Welcome to my hometown, Start Louisiana. The concert aired on national television on Thanksgiving weekend 2002. Tim McGraw sent his hometown into a frenzy. The concert was just across the street from where he went to school. Tim McGraw went to this school? Yes, he did. You were the principal of Tim McGraw? For about eight to ten years. Come on. Yeah. What was he like as a student? He had a lot of brass. I mean, you know, he was very self-confident. And uh, I, I believe that helped him to... Uh, to break in. Of course, uh, being the son of uh, Tug McGraw didn't, didn't hurt him any, you know. He wasn't shy. Uh, he would always try to, to uh, uh, date the prettiest girls. I guess that's why he ended up with Faith, but uh, he wasn't as successful in high school as that as he, he was after he got through 
rich and famous, of course. I remember him when he was still going to school up here. What you remember? Just him being going to school. I used to pick him and his sister up every now and then at this other store over here and give them a ride home, and that's about it. They'd ask for a ride to the house, and I'd haul them in the truck. Charles dropped him off here. This is where Tim McGraw grew up. The street sign near his house has been changed to Tim McGraw Road. The sign is up about eight feet above ground because visitors kept stealing it. And over at the Start Mart, store owner Jim Davis has all the essentials for a typical convenience store, including a small music selection. I notice you sell some uh, Tim McGraw CDs and tapes. Uh, we've got a few. Yeah. How do they sell? They're a little here, a little there. Mostly to tourists, you know. Mm-hmm. Do you see many tourists that say, you know uh, what, I like Tim McGraw so much, I'm going to start Louisiana? It will surprise you how many people stop and want to know where he was raised, where the house is. Long before the rise of Tim McGraw's career, this town was also the start for Aileen and Fred Robertson. They met in start when they were 16 and got married at 18. And 59 years ago, Fred asked Aileen's father for her hand. I said to her, Mr. Adams, uh, Aileen and I want to get married. And he said, well, when do you want to do it? And I said, Friday night. <laughs> and so we did. Fred traveled the South as a Baptist minister, and the couple returned here a few years back to retire. From time to time, Robertson or his grandfather was the preacher of the Start Baptist Church. And last year, the church celebrated its 100th anniversary. It just means home to me, uh, perhaps because I grew up here and um, here I have a lot of friends here and it's just home. Well, <clears throat> it really means uh, a start for me uh, to get away from over in Mississippi where I was and get here where this girl is. And if this is home for her, it's home for me. <laughs> How about that? Well, it's not the prettiest place in the world, but it's home, and it's the only place I ever want to be. I've lived here 61 years now, and uh, I've had chances to live other places, but don't really care to. I'm not going anywhere. I was born here, and I guess I'll die here. So in conclusion about Start, it really doesn't matter who you are. From a fire chief with a sense of humor, or an old flame <laughs> still so burning bright, did. or we even did. a red-hot, chart-busting music star. For over 100 years, the town of Start has had its share of great beginnings, as well as some pretty big finishes. Back in 1999, Tim McGraw hopped over Garth Brooks as the most popular country male singer in the nation. And every year, Tim performs in nearby Rayville for all his Richland Parish fans. Tim also generously contributes to education efforts as well in Richland Parish that support scholarships as well as various sports programs. 